minus 0 0.15. The important thing to remember when you add and subtract decimals is what needs to happen. The key is phrase, that, phrase that pays with adding and subtracting decimals is that the decimals need to, yeah, they have to line up. Uh, usually when you do subtraction, you're used to lining up the right ends of the digits because that's all you've been dealing with. But here that can't be the case. You have 0 0.3, and if our, you're using our line up digits, our line up the decimal thing, the decimal point 15 has to go there, so it has to be 0 0.15. And this is the new thing for the day. Anytime at the end of decimals, you can add zeros to the end to help you out. So you add that zero on the end, and then you can just do the subtraction like normal. You might have to do a little borrowing, some whatever there. And you end up with 0 0.15 as your answer. But the key thing is this, that the decimals must, they must line up. Okay. Another, for example, of that would be, uh, maybe we should do that same one again. Um, let me shrink this up a little bit. Beautiful, this one, just beautiful. Uh, how about this one? Um, 1 minus 0 0.1. 1 minus 0 0.1. The number 1 doesn't have a decimal, but what do you do? Where does the decimal go if a number doesn't have a decimal in it? Bryce, it goes... After the decimal point. Well, after the decimal So where's the decimal here in the 1? In front or behind? Behind. Behind. So when you write this problem out, you have to go 1 decimal point, and all the decimals from there on in have to line up with that. So that second one lines up like this, and here again, uh, the answer to this is not a 1 down here. You have to remember, you're going to put a 0 up there, and you're going to have to borrow. Take 1 away from 1, put a 10 up there, and your answer should be 0 0.9, or just... Are we good with that? Yep. Let me give you one. If we all get it, we'll be good to go. How about this? 1 minus 0 0.25. 1 minus 0 0.25. Let's see if you can get that one correct. Mm -hmm. So he's got it there. Carolyn, what'd you come up with? Sounds like a plan to me. It's 1.0. Actually, it's 1.00 because when you subtract 0 0.25, you need zeros above both those things. Borrow from the 1, it becomes a 0. This becomes a 10. You got to borrow from that, it becomes a 9. 5 from 10 is 5. 2 from 9 is 7. Make sure your decimal lines up. You don't really need that beginning 0, but that's 0 0.75. Any questions, problems, concerns, answers, suggestions, fears, trepidation? All right. Then, children, your assignment.